Hello and welcome to this last minute revision video for the Power on Conflict where I'm going to get off the fence and try to give you a prediction. Now in order to work that out it's really worth you seeing how the examiner has thought in the three specimen papers and the exam of 2017 and the exam of 2018. So the first specimen paper asked us to think about the idea of power. I should have made that bold because it comes up all the time in Ozymandias. And as you know, you always have to relate it to one other poem and it has to be from the power and conflict section. In 2015, the next specimen paper talked about the natural world and it used storm on the island. So we've got a pre-1918 poem and a modern poem. Then there's a third specimen paper which looks at the effect of conflict in poppies. And so that was war, that was the natural world, and that was power. For the first actual exam, they went for war again with bayonet charge. And then for 2018 look, they repeated the theme of power from the 2014 specimen paper. Well, once you see the examiners repeating things from the specimen paper, you then have to say, well, is it going to be conflict of people or the natural world? Which one of those two are they most likely to repeat? And then the other question is, if they've had a pre-1918 poem just recently, are they likely to go for a modern one in 2019? I think the answer is probably yes. So I've tried to think a little bit tactically for you here. So my prediction is that it won't be a pre-1918 poem and that the question will either be on place, which hasn't come up, or the natural world, which is similar, uh, or between people. If you prepare for a question on nature, that would also answer a question on place and very likely answer a question on people. And to hit all of those, I'm going to suggest Kamikaze in a minute as a great one to revise. London will also cover people because it lists all these different people. It's brilliant. And he's chosen London for a reason with lots of descriptions. It will also cover place. It doesn't quite fit the idea of nature, although you could make it fit because he is a pastoral poet who's romantic and he's describing cities and London as the opposite of nature, which is why it starts with the idea of the Chartered Thames. So if you're a really good, strong candidate, you could answer a nature question uh, with London, but otherwise you'd go for Kamikaze. Now, I'm not saying, in fact, I'm hoping that neither London nor Kamikaze will be the named poem. And the reason I'm hoping that is you've got the named one in front of you and it's easy to find quotations and remember what you want to say. So what we're actually trying to predict is a poem that will fit the named poem to compare to. Uh, my go-to, as you will know from my videos, is always to pick a pre-1918 poem because you can write about the form and structure so well. So if you're writing about London, you can include the idea of human nature, if it's people, and you can link the idea of human nature to nature. Um, we see the exploitation of children as unnatural, the destruction of women in this poem as unnatural, the transmission of sexual diseases, which are also unnatural. I mean, the diseases are natural, but the way in which they're spread isn't. It's done through recklessness. Um, and all of these are caused by a move to cities caused by urbanisation, caused by the ills in society that Blake thinks would be cured if we had a more pastoral ideal, if we still lived in a natural state, if we still lived in nature. The place is used to demand political change. That's why he sets it in the capital, in London. And this is a direct link to the French Revolution, which Blake supported. Um, so if you want to know more about London and why wouldn't you? You should just type Mr. Sally's London into YouTube. You'll find my 36 minute analysis. Um, it's not had that many views, but I think it's pretty good, obviously. I've tried to update that two months ago so that you can just concentrate on five key quotations 
and that's a top revision method because you only need five quotations really to answer the question because obviously you're going to have five quotations from the other poem that's ten quotations that's a lot to write about and if you're feeling really interested there's a little watched video uh, that I made with my daughter um, I, I didn't film her but this was her favorite poem when she did A-level so she's got some really interesting things to say about it when we're thinking about the structure and form of London you've got this nursery rhyme kind of feel which links it to the idea of childhood the innocence that's being destroyed by the city uh, it's also an easy way to make the poem memorable in order to change readers opinions because you carry the poem around with you it's meant to be repeated out loud and passed on in families and obviously making it childlike also has the added political message that this is how we should educate our children uh, in contrast to the kind of experience that children have within the poem right kamikaze is unusual in a modern poem in that it also has an interesting structure that you can speak about um, i'll put links to my videos up here so you can explore that more fully but the idea here is that everything is reported second and third hand the natural world is what changes the pilot's mind the father's mind uh, so we can write about nature here because what he sees from his aeroplane all this description of nature is what inspires him to live um, but it seems to be speaking to him directly but we also have what is unnatural in it well obviously killing himself is an unnatural act uh, seen from a different culture's perspective anyway um, also we have the unnatural education of the children where they are taught not to love their father we then got the final reconciliation with the speaker's children and their grandfather and rejection of the mother's view so again you'll need to watch my video on kamikaze if this did not make sense to you but i'll explain it briefly here so we have the kamikaze pilot who returns and his wife rejects him this wife teaches her children also to reject him the speaker of the poem is their daughter of the wife and the pilot and she's now telling the story to her children but she's telling it about grandfather's boat now what this means is she's talking about their grandfather which means she's talking about her father the pilot so although the speaker's mother has rejected the father the new generation the daughter has actually grown up to accept him in other words she's changed the culture and Japanese culture is no longer about this pointless self-sacrifice that glorifies suicide and he has now got this new life welcomed into the family as a grandfather of the daughter's children okay now I, I know teachers aren't teaching that interpretation um, but that's the only interpretation that makes sense to me and it's because of that phrase grandfather's boat it must mean that he has now been accepted um, so you will distinguish yourself from other candidates if you're writing about this poem and you've got that interpretation and it's also about con conflict between individuals and the society they live in and as I've suggested here the society has changed and again if you type Mr Salas kamikaze into YouTube you have <coughs> two choices here my full grade 9 analysis which takes 41 minutes and that might put you off because revision is you know touch and go now and my much shorter five key quotations to get the top grade is only 16 minutes long and is a really good one to go to I'll try and link it up here right your next job is to work out how to compare the poems to get the marks and if you type Mr Salas how to compare um, you get these come up you, that one's not the one that you want how to compare the poets purposes is really good five secrets of poetry comparison people don't like this video I don't know why maybe YouTube objects to the skull and it won't it won't promote it um, how to choose your poetry comparison is really good and how to get grade 9 when comparing and my top recommendation for you actually is this 
learning the FOSS method. Um, so that's the one that I think you'll find most useful um, and is the one that I'll try and link up here. But lots of comparison videos which will really help you nail this question. So remember when you're revising kamikaze it's really important to do that analysis of the natural world. Um, so find the quotations of nature there to write about. And uh, when you're looking at London you can still include the natural world if you're sophisticated enough but obviously people and place. This is also about Japan uh, so it's all about a specific place and it will fit that question as well. So we're hoping that neither of these poems are named um, and uh, you can use both of them to fit any question and if by some bizarre coincidence the examiners decide to repeat last year's question and go for war then kamikaze's got that covered as well okay get cracking in that revision good luck in the exam see you soon on my channel